When the winds begin to blow and the golden leaves start to fall, the days get shorter and the nights a little longer, the cycle of life draws to an end, only to start once again. Hi everyone, thank you for watching and if you're new to my channel then a big welcome to you. What do I have for you all today? Well, I am participating in yet another challenge. We were asked to create a early fall vignette and this challenge is hosted by Deco Easy and Pat. So this is my table at the moment. It's a mess, but this is what happens when you're crafting. I'm just pulling together a few things, gathering my ideas, and we're just going to go with the flow with this one and see how it goes. So I'm going to be reusing an old frame here, so this is a wonderful idea. If you've got some old frames or canvases lying around, you can turn them into something beautiful. And I'm also going to be using this burlap just to cover it. And you know what's funny? I thought that I had nothing for this challenge, but once you start looking around your home, you'd be surprised what you can find. So all I'm going to really do is just fold the burlap all over the frame. I'm going to show you how easy it is just to take a few things around your house already, bring it together to create a beautiful centerpiece and tell a story in your home. So first off I'm taking this book, it looks really vintage and old and I'm just going to place that in the corner of the canvas. Next I'm taking these beautiful flowers, I'm going to place that on top of the book. The next item is a sneak peek into a Poundland haul that I haven't uploaded yet. This is beautiful, I can't believe I bought this for just a pound. I'm going to place that there. If you have any orange or red candles that will do perfectly. I'm going to place that inside. So I'm just going to put this aside at the moment because I'm working on my next piece which is this gorgeous bird cage. This actually had some shower things in and I got this as a gift. So I'm going to be decorating it and adding it to this. To line it, I'm going to be taking some of this newspaper shredding. I'm just going to pop that inside. And I recently showed you all this. I hauled it from a charity shop and it was £1.50. I'm going to use some of this because this is just perfect for what I need right now. They are on wires and hot glued. So all I'm going to do is take off a few of these heads. I'm taking this white small pumpkin and I'm going to just place that in the center. I'm also going to take some of these things, I have no idea what these are called, and I'm going to just place them inside here as well. I'm also using some of these and I've just plugged it in through the side there. I think another one here maybe. By the way, you can of course paint these pumpkins, you can decoupage on them. I just wanted to leave mine neutral, so I think that's coming along nicely. This is how it looks at the moment. But something is still missing, so I think I'm going to decorate the neck and add some ribbon or something um, hanging from here. I've chosen to use this lace trim. It has pearls on, it's just so stunning. I'm going to add a touch of colour and bring back the yellow and orange tones by taking a small sunflower head and just adding that to the top of the ribbon and sticking it on there. So that's all done. I'm going to leave this to drape, I'm not going to cut it because I don't know, I actually like that. <laughs> so here it is so far. And I'm taking one of these lugs. It's been treated and cut out so that you can put some tea lights in. And I'm going to place that just here. And I've got a small gap here. 
So I want to fill that up, but not with something that will take much attention. So I thought of this. And I have to say, it actually looks perfect there. I'm taking three of these candles that I bought from Ikea in different shades. And I'm going to place them inside the wood lug. So we're going to start working on this area here and to do that I'm going to take this and all you're going to do is take some potpourri. I've got a mix of different colours so I've got some in the reds and some in neutrals, browns and I've also got some in yellow. So I'm just going to take a handful of each really and mix it up in here. The best thing about autumn crafts and DIYs is that you can just take a bunch of natural things and make it look amazing. So I'm taking these pine cones that I found in the park and I'm just filling in any empty spaces because it's simple and just does the job. And on this far corner here I'm going to just lie that one down and I've got really long ones so that fits perfectly. And now on to the final touch and I think that these artificial leaves are exactly what I'm looking for. What's fun about creating beautiful displays like this is that there is no right or wrong. Just go with the flow, go with what you think looks right and I'm sure they will turn out just beautiful. And for those that think that it's a bit early decorating for fall or autumn, don't worry I'm only doing a few challenges. I think I've got one more for autumn in August. But other than that, I'm going to be carrying on with my summer crafts up until the end of August. And there's the finished piece. I love this. I really, really do. I just feel like I've got the balance right on this one. I really love all of the natural aspects and elements. It just feels so cosy and warm and really welcoming. This really goes to show you don't need much you don't need to spend a lot of money and you can decorate beautifully for your home it sort of reminds me of what shops would decorate their windows with so let me just bring it in a bit closer so that you can see all of the detailing i love the rustic look on this whole piece gosh this has really got me wanting to carry on with autumn crafts it's going to be so strange to go back into summer well, I hope that you have enjoyed this DIY and that it's given you some kind of inspiration for your own decorating or just given you some crafty ideas. If you have enjoyed seeing me put this together, you know what to do. Give this a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and turn on all notifications. And of course, let me know what you think of the whole DIY in the comments below.